Hello and welcome to Headlines at Mint. Let's take a look at the big stories that are likely to make headlines this Monday. Factors like RBI's interest rate decision, the ongoing tariff war between US and China, and quarterly earnings are expected to impact markets this week. RBI will begin its bi-monthly meeting from Monday. Experts believe the central bank will cut rates to counter the apparent slowdown in the economy. Reports of the government holding meetings to discuss the super-rich tax, which has spooked FPIs, may move the markets. Besides Q1 earnings of companies like Tata Steel, Gale India, Mahindra & Mahindra, among others, will be watched closely by investors. Last week, eight of India's 10 most highly valued companies witnessed a combined erosion of Rs 89,535 crore in market valuation. Meanwhile, in just two trading sessions in August, foreign investors pulled out a net amount of Rs 2,632 crore. Amid a crisis in the NBFC space, Spandana Spurti Financial Limited's IPO will open on Monday. At a price band of Rs 853 to 856, the microlender hopes to raise Rs 800 crore. Against an earlier planned amount of Rs 1125 crore over the three-day share sale. After being hit by the Andhra microfinance crisis in 2010, Spandana came back from the brink in 2017 with additional equity financing from Kedara Capital. The company's loan disbursement grew 87.34% to Rs 3,858 crore in financial year 18. With the automobile sector experiencing a slowdown, around 2 lakh jobs in dealerships have been cut in the last three months, according to an industry body. The Federation of Automobile Dealers Association, which estimated the job losses, says that the layoffs may only increase given the lack of any recovery signs. Major automobile manufacturers have reported a sharp decline in vehicle sales in July 2019. The central government is set to frame rules for ride-hailing firms like Uber and Ola. These will span issues like types of permissible vehicles, surge pricing and safety of female passengers, according to two people aware of the matter. The rules will also specify the ownership of the vehicle, whether the cab belongs to the aggregator or the driver, and specify their liabilities. The new Motor Vehicles Amendment Bill creates a new category of cab aggregators addressing some of these issues. Everstone Capital, a private equity firm, is planning a Rs 500 to 700 crore IPO of Burger King India, according to two people aware of the development. Everstone, which owns a majority stake in Burger King India, has started work on a draft prospectus for the IPO, which may be filed with SEBI in the next two months, according to sources. Burger King posted losses according to its latest available financial results. A growth rate of 9% every year for five years. That's the speed at which India's economy needs to grow to reach the $5 trillion mark. This is what an EY report has said regarding the central government's mission. The growth rate in 2018-19 was 6.8%. EY also said that to reach a real growth rate of 9% in financial year 21, the investment rate would have to be raised to 38% of GDP, as compared to 31.3% in financial year 19. We leave you with these stunning images of the Earth, taken by Chandrayaan-2. The craft took these photographs on August 3, 2019. The lander and rover components of Chandrayaan-2 are expected to land on the lunar surface around September 7, 2019. It will be India's first attempt as a soft landing on a heavenly body. It will also be the first mission by any country to the moon's south pole. That's all for today. Do tune in tomorrow to Headlines at Mint for your daily dose of important news from across the nation and the world.